Hello everyone and welcome to a very colorful Friday new product post. We've got a lot of new products to talk about and a very special new product to talk about. So let's dive right in. First up, we've got two new styles of buttons to talk about. We've got these nice big metal buttons, and then we've also got these little tiny push buttons. We've carried something very similar to these in the past, um, but we didn't have them in all these different colors. We've got red, we've got yellow, a green, a blue, a white, and of course, the black. These are nice panel mount buttons, and they mount from that side, which is actually nice. Um, a lot of people don't realize how panel mount buttons can be really frustrating if they mount from the outside in. If you have this connected to something on the inside of your case and you try to mount this, you have to cut the wires basically to take it in and out. You can see that it's got a washer and a nut. These are basic, just momentary switches. So, you know, you just press it down, that makes a connection, let it go. In addition to these small push button switches, we also have these larger metal guys. These are a little bit bigger, a little bit more heavy duty. And the nice thing about these is they actually have an LED ring on the inside. We have these in five different colors in two different styles. We have a momentary, that's just, you know, press momentary. And then we also have these five, which come in the same color, same size but these are latching, so they actually latch when you press them in. These are also waterproof. Um, they're rated IP65, so um, they are good and sealed against all dust and things like that. And they're good for what they call strong water jets, which is, um, you know, splashes, things like that, they will be good for. Now, they're good when they're mounted. The um, end here is not actually going to be waterproof. Um, it's just when it's actually sealed in something like that, this portion of it is going to be um, water resistant. Um, you might see these called vandal um, proof switches. Um, these are really nice because since they do mount this way into the panel as opposed to this way like these guys do, you can't you know pry them out or push them in um, so they're very good at being tamper resistant. You can't like pry off the button things like that. So check out both the momentary and the latching and of course the nice little simple push buttons. So next up we have a lot of new cases. First I'll talk about all these new cases for the Raspberry Pi. This works with both the Raspberry Pi Model A and Model B. These are the same cases that we've been carrying for a little while, the um, Raspberry Pi 10. Previously, we only sold it in these two colors, the clear and the green. We actually got the green in on accident and we were going to retire it, but a lot of people end up liking the green. So we decided that we might as well carry the full color array that they have. So we've now got the clear, the green, the black, the white, this um, kind of bluish um, aqua color, of course, hot pink, and the yellow. And it's the same case that we've had previously. You've got all the cutouts for the different connectors. We've got a couple mounting holes, a couple little feet molded in, and it's actually a really great inexpensive case because not only can you enclose the Pi, but you can still have access to everything. And from the same makers of that case, they have an Arduino Mega enclosure. So this is the Mega for anyone that's not seen the Mega before. There are not that many enclosures out there for the Mega. In fact, I don't think we have any. I think this is the first one that we actually have. So we now have three different color cases for the Mega. And much like the Raspberry Pi tins, it has cutouts for the headers, um, has this integrated little button for the reset, and then of course we have a little ventilation, um, some feet, and then the mounting holes on the back. All of these cases just kind of snap apart and then snap back together, and the board actually just kind of snaps into place as well. So they're actually really impressive little cases. And we have these in the blue color, the black, and a clear. So here at Sparkfun Electronics, we have a lot of excess products that we really don't know what to do with. So in the past, we've actually sent them off into e-recycling. But wouldn't it be great if you could get your hands on some of that? Okay. Oh, benchtop power supply. Hey Dave, what are you doing? Oh, looking for stuff for my next project. Yeah? You don't need to do that. There's a better way. Come with me. Not everyone is as lucky as Dave and gets to rummage through a dumpster outside. We have a lot of excess products around here that may never end up on the storefront. So what we decide to do is take all these products and distribute them into a SKU where anyone can purchase them. These are products that we will never sell on the site. They could be engineering samples, they could be um, early prototypes, they could be customer returns, damage, ding and dent, 
or just limited run products that we just don't really have any intention of selling. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 1.5 pounds worth of various electronics, put them into boxes and offer them for sale for $10 a piece. And this is the SparkFun Dumpster Dive. You see, Dave, with the SparkFun Dumpster Dive, you no longer have to root through the dumpster for your next treasures. So there you have it. This is another Friday new product post where we have a ton of new cases, ton of new buttons, and we have even more new products on the website, so go ahead and check that out. As a reminder, the Dumpster Dive is actually going to be going live at 12 noon mountain time. Um, we do not expect them to last very long, so make sure you set your clocks, set your watches, set your calendars, and get there at noon to make sure you get one of the 50 SparkFun Dumpster Dives. And no dumpsters were harmed in the making of this video. See you next week.